He's a serving Metropolitan Police officer. He's been charged with rape. 46-year-old David Carrick of Stevenage, Hertfordshire, has been arrested by Hertfordshire Constabulary over an alleged offence committed in St Albans last year. Oh, GB, well. yeah. GB News is home and security editor Mark White has more on this story and joins us now. What's the latest, Mark? Well, we're expecting David Carrick to appear here before St Albans Magistrates Court. Uh, we were subject of a little confusion earlier as we were expecting it to be Hatfield Magistrates Court. Uh, the press turned up en masse there only to be redirected to this court uh, about 20 miles away. So we are expecting that this serving officer, a police constable with the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command, this is the same unit that uh, the, housed uh, the officer Wayne Cousins, who you'll remember, of course, last week was jailed for the kidnap, rape and murder of Sarah Everard. We should say that this is in no way connected to Wayne Cousins other than the terrible coincidence that he, this officer, worked in that same small unit. Um, so he's expected to appear on a charge, a single charge of rape that relates to an incident that happened in this police force area, the Hertfordshire Police Force area, last September. Um, he was arrested on Saturday, held at a police station uh, over the weekend and then charged, of course, last night. So this will be his first court appearance to answer that uh, allegation of rape. It's then likely to be handed on to the Crown Court in, in the coming days and weeks. Going on during Cressida Dick's kind of reign of this whole thing, uh, what's happening with her? I mean, is she going to hold on to her post? And has she made any... Has she said anything about this? Well, it's enormously difficult at the moment for Cressida Dick anyway, given all of the fallout over what happened with Wayne Cousins and the fact that the Independent Office for Police Conduct is still investigating issues around whether previous allegations made uh, about Wayne Cousins and indecent exposure incidents dating back to 2015 in the Kent police area and then again just a few days before the abduction Kidnap, uh, kidnap, rape and murder of Sarah Everard uh, in the London area where there were two incidents allegedly of indecent exposure committed by this now former officer uh, just as I say a few days before uh, the kidnap of Sarah Everard. Um, so it is enormously difficult for her. She has taken the unusual step of commenting on this latest arrest and rape allegation uh, she issued a statement last night saying, I'm deeply concerned to hear the news today that an officer from the Met's Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command has been arrested and now charged with this serious offence. I fully recognise the public will be very concerned too. Uh, she goes on to say that criminal proceedings must now take their course, so I'm unable to comment any further at this stage, but just the fact that she's commenting at all gives you an indication of how serious this development is. The Metropolitan Police, the police service in general, have been on a mission since the conviction of Wayne Cousins to try to reassure women in particular that they take, the police service takes, violence against women and girls very seriously and they are trying to do as much as they can to reassure women and regain perhaps the trust that the Met Commissioner acknowledged herself had been badly dented by the murder of Sarah Everard. Now, you should also say with regard to this particular officer, PC David Carrick, a 46-year-old officer, uh, he has been suspended from the Metropolitan Police while the legal proceedings t take place and run their course and also the Independent Office for Police Conduct is now investigating uh, whether they should uh, get involved and, and uh, launch a formal investigation into uh, the, any issues that might be outstanding from this ongoing case as well.